Hi cutie pies, I'm Lanikia and you're watching the new edition of What Happened on the Soaps. This is, um, sorry, Days of Our Lives. Listen, I'm not going to hold you because this wasn't much. <laughs> this is going to be a quick little review because, I mean, honestly, it wasn't much to it, y'all. Um, so anyways, let's get right on into it. Belle goes and talks to Eric. So she goes and talks to Eric and just telling him everything that happened between her being possessed and how she felt. She said she didn't, wasn't missing days in time. Like Marlena said, she, she it, it felt like it felt like she was there, but she wasn't there. So she didn't have these gaps of like days and time missing. It felt like no time had passed and, and things for her. And so Eric said, well, that's different and everything. And so he tells her about Rafe and Nicole being inside the pub and, and how he's burying his head in the sand. Cause you know, he was, I, I'm like, Eric, I, I'm confused. But anyways, um, she says, she tells him about Sean and Jan and how she's staying with the parent Marlena and he says I know he was like or um he, she, he was he just told her go home you know it's not Sean's fault and if he had been in his right he was like I know he hurt you by not telling you but he really just tried to protect you so you know just go home and be with Sean or whatever and don't let someone break you apart and she finally agrees to it and everything. So meanwhile, Sean is over here with Jan and she's, he's concerned about the baby. And so he goes and makes a deal with the warden and the warden says, well, there is overcrowding. And if you're taking full responsibility for her until the baby comes, we're going to go ahead and let, let her go home with you and then she can come back. And so she tells him, well, what about Belle? What is Belle going to say? And he says, well, Belle's not at home because she wasn't at home. She was at her parents. And I said, well, Sean, you should still tell Belle, but he didn't. So he went and brought Jan to the house and Belle comes home and he's like, Belle. And then Jan comes out of the bathroom and Jan, you said that you were sorry for the trouble you caused Sean, but you took great pleasure in letting Belle know I left him now. Girl, bye. It's a messy self. <laughs> so then uh, moving right along. We see what is this? This dog came on. Moving right along, we see um where who else it was on? I'm sorry, y'all. It was oh tripping uh Ch Chanel. So then we see um oh yeah. So Belle is just like oh my god, like what is she doing here? But anyways, they'll figure that out tomorrow. So then we see tripping Chanel. So he comes over. She's remembering what happened. He comes over. They both agree that they're glad that they didn't go any further than what it really did um, the night before. And um, he says, I'm sorry, I don't look at the camera because I'm looking away trying to remember. <laughs> I'm not trying to remember. I like Days of Our Lives, but it wasn't much to this episode, y'all, until the very end. Um... But basically, all they talk about is they're happy uh, that nothing happened. And she apologizes to him for the way she did him with Allie. And he says, you know, he forgives or whatever. Because he said at the end of the day, I was in a relationship with you. I was in a relationship with Allie. And so, you know, they just, just decide to be friends. And they're not going to take it to another level where, you know, just out of revenge and, and spiteful spitefulness. And they were glad that uh, her mother was there to stop them. And that was it with them, y'all. So then we see, um, who else do we see? Um, then we see that, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just thinking about who, who okay, Sierra Bell, da, da, da. I am moving through the, oh, okay, I'm just moving through quite quickly. Okay, so then we see, um, Sierra, then we see Sierra is at home and Allie comes over. Now, Allie has just left the crypt and she got Ben, I don't know how she did it, but she got him to write this note uh, or whatever. And so she went over there to Sierra and Sierra, before she got there, Sierra's just like, where's Ben, Ben or whatever. And she sees coffee, the, the teacups and she was like, somebody else was here for tea? Because she remembers, um, she was like, I don't remember this. So she goes, um, and then Allie comes over and she answers the door and everything. And Allie says, um, you know, she gives her a lot of clothing and stuff from, um, her baby. And she was like, oh my gosh, I'm overstepping. And Allie is not, Sierra's like, no, 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 I'm so happy. And thank you for helping. You've been so kind and everything. And then Sierra was like, I'm going to go check on 
spin. And and she was like, okay. And then Sierra, um, then Allie picks up this note and she says, oh, this is a note from Ben. He said he was um, going to work and enjoy your day with Allie. And she said, and Sierra was like, how would he know I was going to be with you? She said, oh, I told him last night that I was coming over this morning and just to check on you and everything. But it don't matter what Allie is saying. Sierra is like, you know what? I feel like something is off. So I need to go lay eyes on Ben for myself. And Allie said, okay. Um, and so Sierra leaves her and she's like, I got to go see Ben. Um, so then Allie, you know, as a demon form is like, whoo, this Sierra is going to be one um, tougher to handle than I thought or whatever. But I know what to do. So then we see that... Um, Ben and Johnny are in the crypt and you know Ben Johnny and Ben are talking and Johnny is explaining everything that happened and how he ended up there and then Ben is saying we were having tea and he was like she drugged you guys and he was like yeah she drugged us both or whatever and they he was like why and they, he said she wants the baby she wants Sierra and the babe the demon the devil wants Sierra and the baby and everything and Ben says you know he was like how how often do people come down here he said I haven't been down here since Halloween well this is not good it's April <laughs> you know he said and my dad was down here but I didn't know it so anyways Ben said Ben and Allie are Ben and Johnny um are talking and Johnny says there's no way out of here. And Ben says, well, we got to find a way because he's trying to break his chains. And he says, that you, that's not going to work. And Ben told him, um, we have to at least try. And Johnny said, well, one time I heard somebody, I tried to scream and he was like, they didn't hear you. He said, no, but I was kind of weak. I'm like, so you were weak then. You're not weak now. Okay. But he said, so Ben just started yelling and Johnny said, that's not going to work. And Ben was like, you got a better idea. So they both just started yelling and screaming. And then they both say, okay, uh, this is not going to work. But then they hear like, tick, 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 tick like ticking or knocking or something. And they were like, what's that? And then the door opens up. I don't know who at the door. Um, so then we go to Sierra. Sierra goes to the pub and she says, sees Eric and he was like, oh, it's good to see you. And so they're greeting each other. And then she said, I'm looking for Ben. I'm looking for Clyde. And he said, why Clyde? And she said, because I want to know if he's seen Ben. I went, Ben left a note saying he would be at work, but he's not there. And she was like, and he was like, oh, I don't know. So then we see that, um, Allie has went to the prison and talked to Evan. And I don't know what she's going to do with Evan, bust him out or what what she's going to do. But she says, um, it turns out we have things in common, being bisexual, and we both hate Ben. She said, he's in my way, and I'm going to help you get your revenge on him that you need. Because, you know, he wanted to be with Sierra. So that was the uh, Days of Our Lives today, guys. I'm sorry. It wasn't really that much to it. Um, but it was still a, it was, still, I'm gonna give it a six. I'm gonna give it a six. All right. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you tomorrow for a new edition of what happened on the soap stays of our lives.